recently in the news, I don't know if you have been saying, I don't know if Tasha brought you up the speed of your staff, but Governor Abbott has sent an influx of migrants yep. to Chicago. Yep, he has. Um, this has been declared a sanctuary city. It's been a sanctuary city for a long time. Yep. I'm a Christian. I do believe in being a good neighbor, mm -hmm. but I also believe in being a good steward. Um, so a lot of the a lot of the benefits that the migrants have been receiving, African Americans in this city have not been receiving that the same type type of benefits. Uh, when it comes to housing, when it comes to school, just when it comes to a lot of different perks and benefits. Yep. My question to you is, and the South Shore High School, as you know, is going to house possibly thousands of migrants, right? Yeah, we're going there next. A lot of our neighbors, yeah, a lot of our neighbors come away about that. Um, my question to you is. How would you handle that situation? How would you handle the influx of migrants? Because we definitely don't want anybody to be homeless. But in a sense, also, we definitely want to make sure that we are criteria to make sure that African Americans who have been homeless have some criteria to deal with. But how would you handle the situation tonight? The way I look at it is I don't blame the individual migrants as human beings. If I was in their position, living a tough life in Honduras or Nicaragua or Mexico, maybe I'd be doing the same thing. But we live in a nation here. And we have to put Americans first. That's what it means to govern. So I would, you know, Joe Biden, you got your new mayor here. They dance around this. I say we actually secure the border. We use the military not to secure somebody else's border halfway around the world in Ukraine or wherever else use our own military to secure our own border. And for people here whose first act of entering this country broke the law, treat them humanely, treat them respectfully, but you have to go back and come back through the legal process if you're gonna come at all. How do you feel and, then the seven, and then the last piece of it was 7,000 bucks a month per migrant is what they're spending. Those same dollars can actually be used to support development that helps Americans right here at home. So I think that if there's one wake up call, if we can do this, if we can, if we can have baby formula and expensive sneakers and $7,000 a month for somebody whose first act of entering this country broke the law, that reveals that we can actually be doing more to help Americans right here at home, including Americans in this community in the South Side of Chicago. I that. Um, what do you feel about people who say that Governor Abbott is using the market as So to tell you, I don't, I don't like partisan politics very much, but I'm gonna speak truth. It's Chicago that was calling itself a sanctuary city, right? Your mayor boasts to the country that we're a sanctuary, that we're the ones who are gonna make people come. So I don't blame in this case, the person who's saying that I'm protecting the residents in my state. If somebody else wants to say that they're a sanctuary city and then people actually send them, I think it's your mayor that bears accountability for that. I'm not blaming him for the sake of blaming him. I'm blaming him. I think that the citizens of this city can hold him accountable to say that, you know what, how about you look after the people who actually lived here and voted for you and pay taxes here and actually live here and whose families have lived here rather than solving somebody else's problem somewhere else. That's where I think the problem actually rests.